थैंक यू जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जनाभ गिरिवर भारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जनाभ गिरिवर भारी Well, I did. 
ज्ञानांजन शलाकया चक्षुरो मिलित तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं रूपा कदा मह्यम ददादीस्वदातिक वंदेह श्री गुरो श्रीयुतापदकमल श्री गुरो वैष्णव श्रीरूप सागर जाता सहगना रघुनाथान्वित तम सजीव साइत सवधुत परिजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पदान सहगना ललिता श्री विशाखाता हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधो जगत्पते गोपेशा गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचना गौरांगी राधे वृंदाबनेश्वरी वृषभाणु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वंशा कल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधार शिव सादी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे हरे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चेवनोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुधीर नष्ट प्रायशो अभद्रेशो निम भगवती सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्टि कृष्णाय वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च नंद गोपकुमाय गोविंदय नमो नम नम पंकजनाभाय नम पंकज मलिने नम पंकज नेत्रय नमस्ते पंकजांग्रे नमो महाबदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय ते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम गौरतिशे नम नमो ब्राह्मण्याय देवाय गौ ब्राह्मणाताय च जगदिताय कृष्णाय गोविंदय नमो नम नमा विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वतीदेव गौरवाणी विचारिणी निर्विशेष शून्यवाद पश्यास्तारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदादर शिव सादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे
ಚೇತೋ ದರ್ಪಣಂ ಅರ್ಜುನಂ ಭವ ಮಹಾತ್ಮವಾಗ್ನಿರ್ವಾಪನ ಶ್ರೇಯ ಕೈರಿವ ಚಂದ್ರಕಾವಿತರಣ ವಿದ್ಯಾವಧೂ ಜೀವನ ಆನಂದ ಅಂಬುದಿವರ್ಧನ ಪ್ರತಿಪದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾಮೃತ ಸ್ವಾದನ ಸರ್ವತ್ಮಸ್ಥಾಪನ ಪರಂ ವಿಜೇತೆ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ನಾಮ ನಾಮಕಾರಿ ಬಹುಳಾನಿಜ ಸರ್ವಶಕ್ತಿ ಸತ್ರಾತಿಪಾ ನಿಯಮಿತ ಸ್ಮರಣೇನ ಕಾಲ ಏತಶೀ ತವ ಕೃಪ ಭಗವನ್ ಮಮಾಪಿ ದುರ್ದೈವ ಮಿದೃಶಂ ಇಹ ಜಾನನುರಾಗ ತೃಣಾದಿ ಸುನೀಚೇನಾತರೋರಪಿ ಸಹಿಷ್ಣು ನ ಅಮಾನೀಯ ಮಾನದೇನ ಕೀರ್ತನೆಯ ಸದಾ ಹರಿ ನ ಧನಂ ನ ಜನಂ ನ ಸುಂದರಂ ಕವಿತ ವಾ ಜಗದೀಶ ಕಾಮಯೇ ಮಮ ಜನ್ಮನಿ ಜನ್ಮನೀಶ್ವರ ಭೌತದ ಭಕ್ತಿರ ವೈತ ಕೀರ್ತೈ ಓಯ್ ನಂದ ತನುಜ ಕಿಂಕರ ಪತಿ ತಮಾಂ ವಿಷಮೇ ಬಬಾಂಬುಧೌ ಕೃಪಯಾ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಿಂಕೂಲಿ ಸದೃಶ ವಿಚಿಂತೆಯ ನಯನಂ ಗಲರಶು ಧಾರಯ ವದನ ಗದ್ಗದರುಧಾಯ ಗಿರ ಪುಲಕೀರ್ಣ ಚಿತಂ ವಪು ಗದಾ ತವ ನಾಮ ಗ್ರಹಣೆ ಭವಿಷ್ಯತಿ ಯುಗಾಯ ನಿಮಿಷೇನ ಚಕ್ಷುಷ ಪ್ರವರ್ಷಾಯ ಶೂನ್ಯಾಯ ಜಗತ್ ಸರ್ವ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಬಿರಹೇ ಅಸ್ಲಿ ಶಿವ ಪಾದರತ ಪಿನಸ್ತು ಮಾದರ್ಶನ ಮಹತಾಂ ಕರೋತ್ಪತೋ ಮಾತೃಣನಾಥಸ್ತು ಪರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಕುಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಗಾಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಮೈತ್ರಿ ಬಹ ತಮಾಂ ವಂದೇ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ದಿನ ತಾರಣಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಈಶ್ವರ ಓಂ ಅಪವಿತ್ರೋ ಪವಿತ್ರೋ ವಾ ಸರ್ವಾವಸ್ಥಂ ಗತೋಪಿ ವಾ ಯತ್ ಸ್ಮರೇತ್ ಪುಂಡರಿಕಾಕ್ಷ ಸಭ್ಯಾಭ್ಯಂತರಂ ಶ್ರೀಚೇ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮೇ ಆಡಿಬಲ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೊವಿಜನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಎಸ್ 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 ಪ್ರಣಾಮ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆನ್ ದಿ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಪ್ರವೀಣ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಜಿ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಟುಡೇ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ಫುಲ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಜಿ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಐ ಕುಡ್ ಸ್ಪೆಂಡ್ ಸಮ ಟೈಮ್ ಸೇವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಗ್ಲೋರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ರಾಧಾರಾಣಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ಗಂಡೌ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಜಿ ಪವನ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಲೀಲಾ ಪ್ರಭು ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಸುರೇಂದ್ರ ಪ್ರಭು ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಭು ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಜಾಯಿನಿಂಗ್ ಅಖಿಲ್ ಚಂದ್ ಪ್ರೇ ಪ್ರಭು ಶೋಭಾ ಕುಮಾರಿ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಭು ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ಅರವಿಂದ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಪದ್ಮ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಜಾಯಿನಿಂಗ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಭು ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ಸುಬ್ಬರ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿರುಪಮ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಭು ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣ ಸಂತೋಷ ಆಯ್ತೆ ಪ್ರಭು ಅಂಡ್ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸಂಜಯ ಪ್ರಭು ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ಸುಮ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ರಾಜು ಪ್ರಭು ಶೀರ್ಷ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಜಾಯಿನಿಂಗ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಭು ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಅಂಡ್ ರೋಹಿತ್ ಪ್ರಭು ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಜಾಯಿನಿಂಗ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪದ್ಮ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಹೇಶ್ ಪ್ರಭು ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ವೆನೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಪೂರ್ಣ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಾಸರಾಜ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಎಂಡ್ ಮಾನಸ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಾಲಿಂಗ ಮೇಯರ್ ಪ್ರಭುಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಂಡೋತ್ಪಣಾಮ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಕವಿತಾ
हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी दंडवत प्रणाम हरे कृष्ण लक्ष्मण प्रभु हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी दंडवत प्रणाम दंडवत प्रणाम किरण किरण प्रभु जी दंडवत प्रणाम हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग दंडवत प्रणाम प्रभु जी हरे कृष्ण सो प्रभु जन मात्र जी आई एम सो ग्रेटफुल दैट ऑल ऑफ यू हैव जॉइंड इट गिव्स मी अ ग्रेट प्लेजर टू टॉक टू यू एसोसिएट विद यू व्हाट कैन बी मोर हैप्पी देन हैविंग अ कम्युनिटी वेयर वी ऑल कैन नाइसली you know discuss krishna katha and uh, nicely share and celebrate all these festivals right this is this this is festival of india this is uh, the happiness of india so to say right taking birth here so i'm very very grateful that all of you have decided to come on saturday morning i'm sure some of your children have schools and saturday morning is not as free as sunday morning uh, but you all have come and uh, yesterday i was thinking um, what can i speak about shrimati radhanand and uh, for that matter what can we understand about shrimati radhanand right uh, because every time i was hearing a lecture uh, the devotees the senior devotees were speaking about radhanand uh, were simply beginning the lecture saying we are not qualified to discuss about radhanand so i was thinking you know what can i discuss if they are not ready to discuss and none of them were speaking a um, lot of things about her they were all speaking about krishna and swayam shila prabhupad when shila prabhupad celebrated uh, radhashtami in vrindavan in 1970s that was a very special day in entire vrindavan dham where everybody came to krishna balram mandir and they wanted to hear this ac bhakti ram swami shila prabhupad has attracted the entire world brought the devotees from all the countries he is going to speak about radharani today because today is radhashtami and prabhupad gave a 25 minute lecture and in the 25 minute lecture propad starts speaking about krishna how krishna has all the six opulences how krishna is supreme personality of god and how krishna is the most merciful how krishna is bhakta vatsala how krishna is rasraj how krishna is the source the essence of everything and he goes on and uh, many prabhujis who have heard uh, propad's lecture were wondering they went and saw the file name whether it is janmashtami lecture or radhashtami lecture <laughs> at one time they all the this is radhashtami lecture how come prabhupada is not speaking anything about radharani and at the end of the lecture prabhupada says so that krishna is a devotee of shrimati radharani happy radhashtami that's the class <laughs> so so that's prabhupada you know our acharya's disposition though tomorrow i'm going to talk about uh, tomorrow in radhashtami that we are celebrating in pravin prabhu's house i am going to talk about what is iskon's view on radhashtami how is radhashtami a personal festival within our community right so don't miss tomorrow's class it will it is more about how we should worship radharani you know uh, even utter the name shrimati radharani out of our mouth you know what is the consciousness that we carry so while i was thinking what should i prepare what should i prepare you know uh, then i realized the safest thing to prepare is to speak about the lotus feet of radhanand <laughs> but that is the safest thing because uh, that that represents the entire mercy of radharani and uh, uh, what offense can i commit there because that is the most merciful spot <laughs> right i mean radharani will forgive even if i uh, say anything unintentionally wrong so so now i am going to take you to a different world all of you put on your seat belts right or your mercy belts we are going to enter goloka vrindavan and there we are going to take darshan of shrimati radharani's lotus feet right and what is this lotus feet uh, denote in our in our lives we will try to understand that are you all ready hari krishna hari bol hari bol hari bol hari bol before boarding Haribol. the flight before boarding i have to tell you where you are going to go right so i will also tell you why i told that we are going to goloka vrindavan okay there is a reason why i told that so this is shrimati radharani's uh, lotus feet as you can see and there is somebody here some boy here you know bluish blackish kind of boy who is tying you know uh, ankle bells for the uh, Uh, at at a lotus feet right and we know who it is right krishna 
right? I really loved this picture yesterday while I was compiling it. So, <clears throat> one second. Yeah. So, Srimadhi Radharani's lotus feet, this is a lotus feet, right? So, this is the lotus feet uh, that is there in the spiritual world. Am I audible or am I a little low in my volume? Is it okay? It's it's low, Prabhu, but okay. Okay. So, this is the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani, and the right feet and the left feet together have many things, right? We will discuss about that. The right feet has the sacrificial altar, a mountain, a conch, a earring, a club, a chariot, a spear, and a fish, right? Can you see that, everybody, on the left feet? Sorry, on the right feet here. Can you all see? Yes, Prabhu. Yeah. And, and the and the right feet and the left feet has a barley corn, disc, upcurving line. This is the upcurving line, as you can see here. Can you see my mouse also moving? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Okay. So you can see a lotus. Here is a lotus. Here is an umbrella, right? And you can see elephant goat, right? This is elephant goat. And there is a flag. And there is a bracelet, right? And there is a flower and creeper and half moon, right? Like that. Hare Krishna. So this is Radharani's lotus feet. So wh what does it mean to have all these things? You know, uh, why Radharani is having all these marks on her lotus feet, right? So here, a great Acharya says, you know, it's, his name is Prabodhananda Saraswati Thakur. He is telling in his book, Radha Rasa, Shubha, Sudha Nidhi, right? Sudha Nidhi. Here is saying the total auspicious marks on both the lotus feet of Srimati Radha are 19, right? 19. Left on the right, right leg has 8 and the left leg has 11. Oh, Supreme Goddess of Vrindavana Forest, your lotus feet are brimming full of flowing rasa extract. The essential honey of full blown love nectars holding such feet at his chest. Madhupati, Krishna, the lord of all sweetness, extinguishes the burning fever of Cupid. Oh, supremely cooling. Now I take shelter of them. That which is present deep within the heart of all the Upanishads in the most well-hidden secret, this pair of Srimati Radhara, Radharani's divine lotus feet is my refuge. Simply full of her own feminine dancing playfulness. So, Prabhupada and Mataji's, uh, this is being, here, Srimati Radharani's lotus feet is being described. Now, how did this Acharya know that she has all these marks? Can anybody tell? How did the Acharya know that she has so many marks? How do, how do, we, how do we know that there are 19 marks? In the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. I think Radharani revealed to them by uh, yes. duty devotion to them. Yes. Yes. She see whenever Radharani is to walk, the imprint of her feet on the dust of Vrindavan would show all these marks. These marks are always there, right? These marks are given by the Supreme Lord so that we can identify you, Supreme Lord. We can identify you as Radharani. Right? Some of the marks are similar between Krishna's lotus feet and Radharani's lotus, Radha lotus feet. Right? But all these marks, whenever Acharyas used to see, they actually saw. Like Vishnu Chakruti Thakur, he also gives description, which I'll, which I'll share with you sometime later, uh, of all these marks, all these auspicious marks. So it, they're not whimsical creation of human mind. That, you know, somebody felt all these marks should be kept, so we'll keep. No. Srimati Radharani carries these marks in her lotus feet. And she has revealed them and she has shown them. Right? And the Acharyas have actually seen these marks and they have identified Rupa Goswami, Sanatan Goswami. Of course, you know, with our conditioned eyes, we can't see those marks, even if Radharani lotus feet mark is there because, because we, we've gone to Parsana, we've gone to Raval, we've gone to Vrindavan. Radharani has walked everywhere with Krishna. Krishna has walked everywhere with Radharani. 
Do I see? Do I see those marks? May not. But do I aspire to see? Do I want to see? Yes. Right? So, Radhashtami is coming. Tomorrow is Radhashtami. I'll tell you one qualification of seeing. Seeing those lotus feet. Huh? Somebody asked me the question at the end. Okay, don't forget. Somebody remember, ask me at the end of the seminar. What is that qualification to see rather than his lotus feet next time when you go to Vrindavan? Will you ask somebody? I don't want to forget answering that. Yes. Yeah? Okay. So the question is, what is the qualification to see rather than his lotus feet, Lord Krishna's lotus feet when you go to Vrindavan? Okay? Okay. So, going back. So, here... Uh, the lotus, the lotus, one second, I have to hide this. Yeah. So the lotus footprints of Srimati Radharani with symbols, right, are here. Now, this is mentioned in scriptures with great detail, all these things that are there. There is a book named Sri Rupa Chintamani, right, written by the Goswamis. Now, here, very clearly, it is being mentioned, you know, each one of these, you know, symbols, right? I worship Sri Radha. I'm reading the translation. I worship Sri Radha, whose feet are endowed with the 19 great opulences. On the left foot, the parasol, ari, flag, veen, flower, bracelet, lotus, urdhva, rekha, uh, elephant goat, half moon, and barley corn. And on the right foot, the sakhi, the club, the chariot, altar, earrings, fish, mountain, and conch shell. Right? This is being mentioned by, by great Goswami. Right? And the amazing part is if I go to, uh, you know, description of this, each one of these, they have also been described. What is there in them? How are they very important, right? So there is three texts in this particular explanation of those lotus feet, right? Here I'm going to read the translation. Please be mindful and, uh, you know, attentive. Oh, mind, please meditate on the left foot of Srimati Radharani, which is decorated with the following auspicious markings. Below the toe of the left foot is a barley corn and a disc. Starting from the midpoint between the main toe and the second toe, continuing to the half of half the length of the foot is a shining upward line. Below the toe are a lotus, flag, flower, and a twig. And below the little toe is an elephant gourd. Below the disc is an umbrella. And below there is a bracelet on the heel is a beautiful looking half moon. Now, one thing you should observe here, how personal this is. Right? It's not like, you know, oh, I found, you know, 19 things, so I'll draw them wherever I want. Right? It's not like that. They have a certain location. And the Acharyas have gone to such level of detail that they have actually documented that level of location for all of us. How fortunate are we? Just think about it. Now, this is spiritual knowledge, pros and messages. You know, don't take this easy. This is pure spiritual knowledge. If you have the faith, you should understand. Right now, you are being told what is there or not. Radharani's lotus feet. You should have that faith. Otherwise, this seminar will be like, you know, what are we talking about? Like, wh why are we talking about? Can anyone tell me why we have to know these details? Why we have to know all this, you know, this umbrella, elephant gold, flag? How, how does it make it? I'm anyway worshipping Radharani's lotus feet. Why Acharyas are behind all these marks? Can anyone tell to get, get more attraction. Huh? What was that? To get the right consciousness to the worship her. Yes. To get the right consciousness to worship her and? Babaji, there must be some resemblance of each and every, uh, whatever I mean, uh, it's there in the Radharani's, uh, Srimati Radharani's feet. There should be some uh, spiritual resemblance or devotional resemblance to it. Maybe it is very important for us to understand what, he, what is the each and every print uh, resembles actually at correct. Yes, it helps us surrender easily, right? And we know what they mean. And anybody else? Why we need to know all this detail, Baba? Okay, lotus feet is there. Radharani is lotus feet. I am going to see on Radhashtimi day. Mercifully, Prabhupada has allowed Radharani's lotus feet to be available for some time on Radhashtimi for darshan. Why I need to know what is there under a, under a lotus feet? Anybody else? What what comes to your mind? Why I need to know this level of detail? Radharani is the spiritual energy of uh, 
got it prabhu ji yeah so, no others uh, they have explained all those things okay maybe maybe because we are we are worship we are shrimati radha radha yes by knowing uh, since we are seeing the lotus feet of shrimati radha radha by knowing what is there on these feet we will try to understand and get that required kind of blessings when we try to place our uh, uh, yes. head on her uh, yes lotus feet we will get that required blessings that's i'm thinking so yes yes very nice problem anybody else somebody has said that okay. uh, we will not get uh, pulled the uh, the details of details are required actually prabhuji to meditate so can we can meditate more uh, on the lotus feet so the de- more details are required so that we can focus and meditate more on the lotus feet yes we can more details are required so you can remember what is the greatness and you can focus more yes lavanya mathi ji is writing here to know the greatness of radharani yes right and anybody if you are not yes. if you are not knowing about your mother whom you will know maestro yes also prabhu uh, i'm just adding to what uh, uh, akinchan prabhu said if it is a plain feet when we are trying to meditate it becomes difficult to remember them but if you those you know, those with all those steps when you are trying to meditate and recollect them okay radharani's feet has got a fish on it has got a conch on it and kind of thing no those things will help us to focus a little more on the meditation and remember her lotus feet for a longer time in our chanting or something just a thinking from yes yes santosh aitar prabhu you have written a direct message to me that is the answer i was looking for please go ahead can you tell hari krishna prabhu ji yes once i heard by the his holiness radha kumari sir bhakti means attention to details ah. the more more we pay bhakti the more we pay attention to the details yes thank you thank you all the answers are wonderful everybody satya prabhu lavanya mata ji santosh aitya prabhu pravin prabhu mahesh prabhu everybody have told wonderful answers but acharya has told one additional thing right my guru maharaj is holiness radha swami maharaj has repeated what the great acharya has told and he said when we love somebody when we love somebody we want to know all the details of the person isn't it so these acharyas are so much in love with Rad- shrimati radharani so much in love with her mercy that they want to know everything about her just like you know just like when a newly wed girl acharya has explained this example that when a newly wed girl goes to her husband's house she goes and inquires with her mother in law what does my husband like to eat she goes and asks her husband sisters what does my husband like to eat right because she wants to make sure that she gives her 100% love uh, to this person who is going to now help her live her life her husband right so this is attention to detail somebody might say you're already married what is the big deal you're already married you are anyway going to serve him you will know eventually no i want to know before i want to know before what what is it that person likes and what is it person is so that i can serve him properly and that is the reason the marriage marriages in our bharat varsha india were so successful because it was all about knowing the details and this is exactly what acharyas have see in krishna and radharani and vrindavan dham when they visit there they see the details condition so like me i don't see the details i see the upper circumference and i'm i start judging right but they see the details that is a beauty and these lotus feet marks are available to us not because we deserve to know not because i want to know it's simply the mercy of the acharyas that they are telling it to us that hey my shrimati radharani my supreme mother has all these things in her lotus feet and so many times she has shown it when she walked in vrindavan and by the way you are all practicing bhakti to understand so understand how great this lotus feet are right attention to detail is bhakti attention to detail every little thing prabhu ji and mataji is 
is being seen by Krishna. Not the greatest things that we do. Not the greatest things that we do. Krishna is looking at the detail. Where, you know, like if you are saying, you know, I'm a good preacher, I'm a good cook, cooking person, I'm a good serving person. That is not what Krishna sees. Krishna sees how, how your words are giving hope to others when you are preaching. Your choice of words, how they are defeating the unnecessary elements, how they are uplifting the fallen soul. Your service, how you are serving impartially, equally, devotionally, everybody. Right? Everything is being seen in detail. Detail is being seen by Krishna. He is not seeing you serve 1000 people or 100 people. He is not seeing how many people came to our Janmashtami. He is not seeing how many people came to our Ratyatra. He is seeing how we treated them individually. That is Bhakti. So Bhakti is in details. right? And Srimati Radharani knows details of Lord Krishna's desires. Details. And that is the reason it is explained she never cooks anything again. <laughs> it's impossible to even think that it's in this unlimited eternal time which itself we can't understand. She has never repeated a dish for Krishna because she is so specific about detail and she is so specific about satisfying her beloved. She never sang the same raga again. She never uh, danced the same way. It's always unique because attention to detail. And Krishna also sees the detailed aspect you know, in her services. And that is the reason Srimati Radharani is the, is the Ashraya Vigraha. Can you all say Ashraya Vigraha? Ashraya, Ashraya Vigraha. Ashraya Vigraha. She is the abode, the source of all love. The abode and the source of all love is Srimati Radharani. And Krishna is Vishaya Vigraha. Can you also Vishaya Vigraha? Vishaya Vigraha. Vishaya Vigraha. Vishaya Vigraha means object of that love. So there is the source of love. And the source of love is attracted to this object of love. Difficult yeah. not to think, right? Yeah. That, that is how it is. You know, there is Vishaya Vigraha, there is Ashraya Vigraha. So we are going to the source of love today. The source of all love that you can see in any relationship. It's not only between a girl and a boy or a mother and a son or even between a father and a son. The source of all love is coming from Srimati Radharani. The source of all auspiciousness is coming from Srimati Radharani. Right? So in the next half an hour or so that we are going to spend, we'll go into the details of you know how how to understand this, right? How to understand this mercy coming from a lotus feet, right? So let's go forward. So here in the here in the first and second shloka, it is mentioned about uh, her her feet, and in the third shloka, it's being mentioned. Please focus as I read the translation. Please remember the right lotus feet of Srimati Radhika, which is following the descriptions of the markings. On the heel of the lotus foot is a fish. Heel, right? Bottommost part of the feet. Above that is a chariot. Chariot. Above the chariot is a mountain. On one side of the chariot is a is a shakti weapon. On the other side is a club. Above the club is a conch shell, which is a root, which is at the root of the toe. Below the little toe is a sacrificial altar. And below the sacrificial altar is a earring. <laughs> right? So much detail is being mentioned so that we also understand that this is this is not an imagination. This is a revelation. This is a revelation coming from the spiritual world. Right? Now various references are given by various acharyas. Huh? Now amazing part is here if you see in Ganodesha Deepika, written by an Acharya, the same things are being mentioned. If you see 
the descriptions in Rupa Chintamani by Vishnu Chakrita Thakura, the same thing, the same things are being mentioned. And these all things are mentioned at different times. Right? And there is this beautiful Ananda Chandrika. This beautiful, yesterday when I was reading this, I was astonished. The level of detail and the, the how much importance has been given to each and every symbol that was seen of Srimati Radharani. Each and every symbol. Now, what does it denote, Prabhupada Mataji, is that all the Acharyas are seeing the Srimati Radharani and we are in the disciplinic succession of such Acharyas who have seen the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. Are we fortunate, Prabhupada Mataji? Huh? Just imagine. Actually, I was meditating yesterday. How could I get initiated? in such a sampradaya, where my acharyas have actually seen the lotus feet of Srimadhi Radharani. What am I doing in this kind of... What do you say? This kind of line is, what is a person like me doing here? Really, I mean, I'm not just trying to fake any ingenuity here, but I really felt when I was reading this, uh, the detail uh, given by these acharyas, what qualification we have? Somebody, you know, comes and says, Prabhu, I want to get initiated. From whom? And what qualification we have? I've chanted three years, 16 rounds. <laughs> that's, a, that's a minimal qualification as per ISKCON laws. You know, uh, the, the standard is the three years of 16 rounds, non-stop. But does that qualify me to get initiated? Still not. Okay, following the four regulatory principles, struggling, falling, getting, getting up, falling, getting up, getting up, struggling, continuing, commit, committing, committing ourselves, committing, commitment, I'm giving. Uh, does that still qualify me? To be in the lineage of Acharyas who have seen the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani Prabhuji and Matajis? I mean, it's so difficult to even conceive when you read more and more. Actually, it's, it's, it's better don't read about Srimati Radharani. Don't get into those books. Huh? When you go to a book stall these days, sometimes, you know, the most sacred knowledge, Radha Tattva, right? Or uh, some glories of Srimati Radharani are being openly kept in the stalls. That is a mercy of the great Acharyas that they're keeping in the stalls kept. Buy them, but don't read them. Because how can we understand? How can we appreciate? Or rather, you know what? We'll start comparing Radharani to somebody we know. Can I compare Radharani to my mother? No. Even though my mother is the most dear to me, I still cannot compare Shimudhi Radharani to my mother. I can, I can see some qualities of Srimati Radharani appearing in my mother. But I can't compare. I can't compare Srimati Radharani to anything in this world and being in a conditioned state, still attracted to bodily enjoyment, how can I, how can I possibly uh, endeavor to even understand Srimati Radharani? How can I even talk about something like Radha and Krishna? So it is very safe for all of us to Keep our consciousness at the lotus feet of Radharani. Don't need to go up from there. Just fix your consciousness at the lotus feet. You know, that is that is the most safest position. And that lotus feet is also being held by Shri Krishna. Right? The same Krishna, Ishwaraha Paramaha Krishna, Sachitananda Vigraha, Nadi Radir Govinda, Sarvakarna Karanam, Janmadi Siyataha, the cause of all causes, Athato Brahma Jignasa. Inquire about the Supreme Person. That supreme person, that abode of everything, that source of everything, that greatest person is holding Srimati Radha in his lotus feet and is satisfied. And these Acharyas are giving this detail to us, right? Now, I'm going to get into the slide where we're actually going to understand or endeavor to understand in a brief way, what do all these things represent? And at the end of the slide, in the beginning itself, I'm telling, don't think you understood them. You have only been introduced to them. Right? You've only been introduced. And don't try to 
యూ నో వాటర్ కండిషన్ మ్యాన్యువల్ టెన్ ఇంతేనా దీని గురించి ఇంత డిస్కషన్ రైట్ దిస్ మచ్ ఓన్లీ రాధారాణి స్వీట్ ఓన్లీ దిస్ మచ్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ నో ఇట్ హ్యాస్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ బట్ ప్రొవైడెడ్ వి టేక్ షెల్టర్ విల్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ రైట్ సో లెట్ అస్ ఎంటర్ అండ్ నౌ నౌ ఐఎమ్ టెలింగ్ యూ వై వై ఐ టోల్డ్ వి ఆర్ ఎంటరింగ్ గోలోకో బృందావన్ బికాస్ దిస్ లోటస్ స్వీట్ can be seen only in golok vrindavan <laughs> right so now virtually wherever you are sitting in your house wherever you are that kshetra is goloka because you are sitting there and your consciousness is in goloka so let us see shrimati radharani keep us at everything provision mata ji keep us at everything that you are doing everything because next few minutes we are going to understand what is there in that lotus feet of shrimati radharani are you all ready hari yeah. bol now no let us let us focus okay this focus and with merciful eyes you know please tapta kanchana gaurangi radhe vrindavaneshwari prishabhanu sute devi pranamami hari hari let us pray that and let us understand what is there in the lotus feet okay so i well, i was making this presentation I was meditating on each one of these items i don't know how it came but still now here is a lotus feet of shrimati radharani please on your screens keep your hands on this lotus feet and take blessings provision mata ji this is our eternal mother's lotus feet and the day we see this be rest assured that we are completely secured and we are back to our eternal home our goal of life is to find shelter at these lotus feet right so let us go one by one we'll start with the right feet fish what does the fish represent right devotee cannot live you know without association sir we spelling mistake but just like a fish cannot live without water fish also represents a mind which is trapped to small sense traps right so provision mata ji is if somebody is drowning in the water right somebody is drowning in the way is dying if you go and tell him there is somebody is gifting you a villa you know which is 20 crores worth what is that person going to tell you First, pull me out of water. Huh? First, pull me out of water. Prabhu, your voice is breaking up. Yeah. Am I audible? Yes, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you're drowning and somebody comes and says, you have a, you have a big property that somebody is giving you, your reaction will be, what the hell? I don't need that. You know, I need, I need, I need air. I need air. isn't it i need air i'm drowning i'll die what good is that property for me what good is anything of this material world for that me i'm going to die now right that is how uncomfortable we should actually feel being in this material world when somebody is offering anything of this material world to us whether it's a position in an office whether it's a educational qualification or whether it is anything that we are proud of we should feel like that thing that is being given to us when we are drowning in this condition material world and this fish represents our desire to associate with devotees just like a fish is searching for water we should search for association of devotees and when we focus on this right feet bottommost portion the fish on shrimati radharani's lotus feet we will get that association right if you are craving for association focus on this fish how many of you want a good association for your mind right so remember this fish on radharani's right right foot underneath you all should remember huh, all these symbols okay don't try to make notes and try to remember just hear it with consciousness and take shelter of it right so 
repeat after me. We are taking shelter of this fish. We are taking shelter of this fish. Right? So after every symbol, I'm going to tell this. Right? We'll repeat that. Okay. And we are actually going to tell Radharani. Radharani is actually hearing this lecture right now. Because all of us are wanting to take a shelter. Not because I'm speaking or you're hearing. Just that we are repeating what the Acharyas have given. Radharani will be very interested. Yes. And the fish also represents our mind, which is after unnecessary small things. How does the fish get trapped, Prajan Mati? How does the fish get trapped? The fish has so many things to eat underneath the bed of the ocean, underneath the bed of the river. So many things. So much fungus, so much little, little things. But still, it sees this, this little hanging food object and gets trapped. In the wow. same way, we also are vulnerable for the choices that Maya is giving. Don't fall for that. And we can reject the choices of the we can reject the choices that Maya Devi is giving when we focus on this fish, on the lotus feet of Radharani. So how important is this fish? Right? So let us focus on that. I want this. I, I want to take shelter of this fish on your lotus feet, Shrimp Radharani. Right? Should we go to the next one? Yeah? Okay. Yes, Prabhuji. Yeah. Next one. Chariot. There is a chariot here. Rath. Right? So what does this represent? When we fix our mind on this chariot, then our mind chariot stops running around in search of desires. <laughs> right? So Srimati Radharan is Lotus Feet's chariot is the chariot that will take us back home, back to Godhead. It will take us back home, back to Godhead. Right? It, if we don't, then our mind chariot is going to take us in different directions. Different directions. I want this, I want that, and this, and that, and this. Our mind will feel nice that, oh, I am in this material world. I am so great. I am so important. Rose and messages, how many of you feel that you are important? <laughs> If you focus on this chariot of on this chariot, this chariot will remove you from that consciousness and take you back home back to Godhead. So how important is this chariot? Important, right? So let us all of us tell. Srimati Radharani, I want to focus on this chariot on your lotus feet. Srimati Radharani, I want to focus on this chariot on your lotus feet. Yes. Right? Uh, Stop running around to material desires. Okay, Hare Krishna. Let's go to... Are you ready for the third one? Yes? Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the third one. What is the third one? It is the earring, the kundal. Right? Can you see beautiful earring? With the peacock. Right? Look at the design. Hare Krishna. Right? Now, this is a spiritual world jewelry. Huh? This is a spiritual world jewelry, not anywhere near. Now, here, though these ears, through these ears, one can hear the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. By such hearing, one becomes a devotee. These earrings denote Shravanam. Right? These earrings denote Shravanam, Kundal. Our access to Bhakti is only through our ears, not through our eyes. Only through our ears. The more attentive you are in, in satsang, keeping aside everything else, forget about it. We have been Brahma, by the way. Huh? Manandaram Brahma la we, all, we all were Brahma. How many of you know that you all were Brahma one day? We all were Brahma. Prabhupada told in one purpose. Every single one of us in this call played the role of Brahma. With how many heads, I don't know. Somebody four heads, somebody ten heads. You know, we all, we did all creation, management. We are management gurus. We have done all that nonsense management. Right? And finally, we have come to this state now. No, let us not sit in satsang and manage. Let us sit in satsang and hear. Hear. And take shelter of these earrings, this kundal, on the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. Because this kundal represents hearing the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. If you focus on this earring, Srimati Radharani will give access to hear 
most purest form of bhakti. So let us say, Srimata Radharani, please give me access to your earrings. Srimata Radharani, I want to take shelter of this. I want to take shelter of this. I want to take shelter. I want to take shelter. Okay, let's go to the next one. Hari Bol, let's go to the next one. Next one. Conch. Shang. Right? This is right below her toenail. Right? Right leg. So that's what I've explained. What does it represent? It represents victory of living entity over all debts one has on devatas, parents, nature, etc. When one takes shelter of Radharani. Right? So when you're victorious, what do you do? When you are victorious, you blow the shank, right? Woo! Right? So when you take shelter of Srimati Radharani's lotus feet, this shank in the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani, you are not indebted to anybody else in this whole creation. Nobody else is this creation. No debts. How glorious is this? Right? Just remember that, that shank at the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. And that's it. You are not indebted to anybody else after that. So let us repeat. Srimati Radharani, I want to take shelter of that conch of the shank at your lotus feet. At one shot, all your all your loans are cleared. <laughs> if somebody has a home loan, that will be cleared anyway after you die. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the loans that are going to keep us in this material creation life after life so Srimati Radharani is so merciful in the right feet under the big toenail is the conch remember that, focus on that meditate on that That please relieve me from all the debts I have created, I have only created these debts, please relieve me from that right so let's go to the next one hmm? Number five, mountain. There is a mountain. Right? Now, what does this mountain understand? Right? It's under the, it's an, it's be, be, beside finger after the toe. Below that is the mountain. Right? On the upper portion of the right feet. What does it denote? It says, the more we focus on this hill, our nishta, our faith becomes firm in bhakti. No one can move us away from Krishna. Giri, right? This, this represents like Giri or mountain, right? Our faith becomes so strong that no one can move us. Can we move a mountain? Nobody can move a mountain. So Srimati Radharani is saying, if anybody focuses on this mountain, Acharya is saying, Acharya is saying, if anybody focuses on this mountain on the right feet of Srimati Radharani, he'll never go away from Krishna. Do we want this kind of nishtha? Huh? Yes, we want this, right? No matter what happens, I will not leave satsang. No matter what happens, I will not leave Krishna devotees. That faith, that nishtha. Nishtha is what? In the ladder of bhakti. Number five, right? Number five. After Ranunathani bhakti comes nishtha. That nishta is given by Srimati Radharani when we focus on this mountain, this, this big massive giri, which makes us firm in bhakti, which doesn't allow us to leave. So let us all say, Srimati Radharani, I want my faith to become like that mountain fixed at your lotus feet. Srimati Radharani, I want my faith to become like the mountain fixed at your lotus feet. Right? Yes. Now, after this, number six is altar or vidhi, vedi. What does this represent? This altar. This altar here represents, we can see Lord Krishna through the scriptures given by Radharani. Altar represents the sacred scriptures and the yajna that is performed <coughs> through the scriptures. Right? Radharani is saying, access me through the scriptures given by my devotees. Access me to the scriptures given by Swayam Krishna. My beloved Krishna is giving access 
to me, to Vrindavan, to everybody through the scriptures. So, Prabhupada and Matajis, keep your hand on your heart and say, I'm not going to go away from scriptures. I'm not going to go away from scriptures because these scriptures are there at the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. Sorry, I'm going to mute. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not speaking, please don't unmute. Right? Radharani, Srimati Radharani is giving so much importance. And she is telling us that if we are, if we are getting attracted to anything outside the scriptures, this is the place to focus. Where? On her right feet, below the small finger, is what? Altar. Yajyasthali. Vedi. This is where we have to focus. If we are not able to fix our faith on the scriptures, if we are still struggling to develop faith on the scriptures, this is our shelter. We have to focus here. I don't know how many of you are struggling to keep your faith on the scriptures. I am, I am struggling. So I want to focus on the right feet below the small finger where the altar is there. So let's all say, Srimati Radharani, please, please give us access to the scriptures and faith on the scriptures which are, which are on your lotus feet. Thank you, President Mataji. You are repeating. When you are repeating, I am hearing you also. It is increasing my repetition. Thank you. So let's go to the next one. Number seven. Is a triple arrow or a trishul? What does this represent? Right? Trishul in the material world represents something which you already discussed in SSR, but this Trishul is different. What does it represent? It relieves us from the three miseries caused by mind, others, and nature. Adi Daivika, Adi Bhautika, Adi Chajnika. Right? So, President Mataji, Radharani is so merciful, Srimati Radharani, that she is relieving us from all trouble-causing things around us. And if we are surrounded by people, if you are surrounded by people who are not setting a right example in bhakti, if you are surrounded by our mind, if you are surrounded by our mind, which is not helping us fix our consciousness in bhakti, if you are surrounded by so many disturbances being caused by the material nature, whether it is disease, plague, whatever, pandemic, we should take shelter of this Trishul. And where is the Trishul? right above the fish to the right corner in the right feet. Right? And we should take shelter and say, please help me. Help me. You know, I am going through so much through my own mind, through other living entities, and through the material nature. Please help me. And Srimati Radharani will give you the relief. Right? So let us all say, please give me relief from these three miseries which will help me focus more in bhakti. Srimati Radharani, please give me relief please from these three mitris so that I can focus on Bhakti. On Bhakti. Yeah. Let's, let's go to the next one now. Hare Krishna. The last one on the right, right feet. The club, the maze. Now, Prajan Madhya, this is very important. You want, you know, yesterday when I was hearing this discourse and I was reading about this maze, Acharyas are not stopping to explain the greatness of this maze only. There's so many things about this maze, right? About this way, so many things are mentioned. I could just put some of them for our discussion because if I if I start if I start repeating what they told, it might go till evening. <laughs> the greatness of this maze on the lotus feet of Sri Madhuradhan. Really. So what does this represent? Please focus. It destroys all obstacles. Huh? Our reactions to our past karmas are smashed. Right. And our arrogance, pride, and lust is also smashed. Especially lust is smashed by this particular maze. And most important also, again, it also relieves the ancestors who are stuck in the planets. Our ancestors. So just imagine what all the maze is giving up. We have lived so many lives, so much karma we accumulated, so much reactions we are going to get. We deserve to get so many, so many reactions. Right? 
But when you focus on this maze at the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani, she will simply smash our entire past karma. If you all remember in SSR when we were discussing, many times are repeated, or our acharyas are repeated, that the only person who can remove our karma, karma balance is Krishna, isn't it? Now you know, now you know how Krishna is removing. <laughs> Using the maze at the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. Right? That is the greatness of this maze. And it removes our pride, our arrogance, and lust. These three things. Acharyas are going on explaining, you know, one by one, one by, how, how pride, how, how lust, how arrogance, arrogance. How many of us are arrogant, Provision Matajis? Keep your hand on your heart and tell me I'm not arrogant. I can't keep that hand. I'm telling you, I'm so arrogant about what I am. Who can remove this? What hope do we have when we take shelter of this maze at the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani on the right feet, just beside the chariot towards the left? That maze will remove that arrogance. And with that arrogance, you can't go into the spiritual world. Our arrogance is so much that we see faults in other devotees, that we can see faults in our Siksha Guru, that we can see faults in our Diksha Guru, that we can see faults in Srila Prabhupada also. And what is a Srila Prabhupada? We can see faults in his Guru, and we can see faults in Acharyas, and we can see faults in Swayam Shri Krishna. Right? Arrogance. Arrogance. Main great. I am thinking and world is also thinking like me. That is arrogance. What is arrogance? World is thinking like me. No. World is not thinking like you. You are the only one who is thinking like that. Get humbled. You are the only one who is thinking like that. World is not thinking like you. Are you hearing Prabhupada Mahathir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please, understand this. In the satsang, you are the only one thinking like that. The world is not thinking like you. Get inspired. Get inspired from devotees whom Krishna has sent beside you to make progress in Krishna Bhakti. Don't sit there and play a role of finding faults in others. And if you have the tendency, you have no other hope but to focus on that maze at the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. Please tell everybody, I want to focus on that maze at your lotus feet which will smash my arrogance and my reactions of the past karma. I want to focus, I want to on, focus on the maze at your lotus feet which will smash my arrogance and the past karma. Yes, I want that shelter. I can't make progress in bhakti. I can't make progress in bhakti. Right? And that maze also, Acharyas have explained, relieves our ancestors also. Just see how much Radharani is taking care. Not only she is taking care of us, but she is also taking care of her ancestors. That it also smashes the karma of our ancestors when we take shelter of the lotus field. Right? So Srimati Radharani's eight symbols and her right foot we have just discussed. And there is so much more. But with all your permission, can we go to a right fit now? Yeah? Are you all eager to know what is there on the right fit? Yes. Did, did, this, did this explanation of these eight things on the left, on the, on, on the right feet, sorry, we are going to the left foot now. We just finished the right feet. Did it give any relief to all of you? Did it give any hope to all of you? Yes, yes, Prabhu. Yes, yes, Prabhu. Yes. 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 Thank you very much, Prabhu. Yes. Yeah? Okay, let's go to the ninth. The barley corn. Now, here you see, under the toe, can you see my mouse? Yeah? Yes, Prabhu. Yeah, yes, so this, is, this is the symbol. This, this, this curve under the toe of the 
left field. It's called barley pan or yavam. When we focus here, we get nourishment, poshana in our bhakti activities. Removes wherever we are stuck anywhere in bhakti. This particular symbol relieves us from wherever we are stuck. You see, the, the thing is that we come to satsang, we make a little bit of progress. And then, and then we make a little more progress and then we are stuck there. We, we, we can't go forward. We need a push. We need more inspiration. We need more dedication. We need more sincerity. We need so many things. This barlikon, this yavan, removes the obstacles and gives nourishment and gives nourishment in the process of bhakti so that you can cross that obstacle. Oh, merciful is Shrimati Radharani. Does our mother know everything we need, Prabhupada Mataji? Yes. She knows everything we need. How many of you feel you are stuck in spiritual life? Huh? I am yes, yes. deeply stuck. I don't know what to do. Yesterday when I was reading this, and I was hearing this from the Dacharya, I said, oh my God, so beautiful. I was looking for this. I needed somebody to recognize the problem and then give a solution to the problem. So this is hardly common. Yeah, I'm muted. So this barlikon represents where I'm stuck and I need nourishment so that I can get out of that stuck nature. Right? All of us get stuck. Don't think, you know, just because you're chanting 16 round following four legs, ah, I'm not stuck. No, we are badly stuck. So let us focus. Let us say, Srimati Radharani, please let me focus on this barlikon whereby I can get relieved from wherever I'm stuck in your service. Please let me focus on the barley so that I will get released from wherever I am. Let's go to the next one. Number 10. Is this upward line. Urdhu Arekha. Right? This line. Can you see this line here? Like this? This is number 10. To come. What is it? It helps us make progress upwards. Continuous progress upwards. How fortunate are we? Right? That Srimati Radharani is making sure, she's telling, just focus on that line on my left foot beside my toenail, which is which is going down like this. Just focus on that and it will help you make progress in bhakti. Just hold on to that. It's like a rope pulling you up. So if you feel that I am not able to make any further commitments, I'm not able to find any self-motivation to make progress. Remember that Urdhvareka. Right? So, everybody, please, Radharani, please let me hold on to that Urdhvareka, which will help me make progress continuously in the path of Bhakti. Radharani, please help me hold on to the Reka, which, which will help me progress in the path of Bhakti. Number 11, disk, chakra. Right? Now, here is the chakra. What does this represent? Only this disc has the power to burn the six anarthas of anger, envy, pride, jealousy, illusion, and you know, I wrote pride again two times because I am very proud. <laughs> so I wrote pride two times. Right? But the point is, you know, we want we want to be relieved of these anarthas. Right? Krishna kills each one of the demons and which represent one one anartha. Srimati Radharani is saying, just focus on this disc. Below my toenail. Of which feet? Left feet or right feet? Left. Left feet. Left feet. Left feet. Huh? Below the toenail. Just focus on that. And take shelter of that. And that will smash our anarthas. She will relieve all of the anarthas to make progress in bhakti. So let's all say, Srimati Radharani, please give me, please give me shelter of that disc which will relieve me from my anarthas which are eternally keeping me in this material world. Shri Shri Radharani, please let me focus on the disc. Which will relieve me from the anarthas. Eternally in this material world. Yes, we want relief from that. Yeah, now let's go to the next one. Number 12, the lotus Padma. Provision Mataji's Padma means what? Padma means lotus. Padma also means Lakshmi. 
right? And this lotus feet says, the lotus explains that all the Lakshmi's, Dhan Lakshmi, Santara Lakshmi, all Lakshmi, uh, Vaikuntha Lakshmi, they're all originating from her lotus feet. Padma is originating from Srimati Radharani's lotus feet. Devotees should be like honeybees trying to gather nectar and bhakti. Others should be attracted to that nectar from us. Three things are being mentioned here. Number one, please focus. Number one, all auspiciousness, Lakshmi, comes from the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani, Padma. Right? So if you're taking shelter of Srimati Radharani, she will take care of everything. You don't need to do any other extra puja. Just focus and take shelter. And then, how the honeybees, Acharyas are explaining how the honeybees, they search for these lotuses and they go and take the nectar out of it as, and make, make them honey. We should also, we should also develop this quality of going and finding this nectar in all devotees. Sorry, I'm just muting others. We should also be like the honeybee who goes from flower to flower and collects that nectar. And Prabhupada Mataji, Radharan is telling one more thing. When someone comes to us, when someone comes to us, we should feel attracted to the nectar that we are carrying with us. Every single devotee in his con should attract the whole world. How? By carrying this nectar from the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. In the form of knowledge, in the form of service, in the form of knowledge, in the form of service, in the form of so many things. I should carry this. I should carry this. Right? We should represent this nectar. So three things, right? In the lotus, number one, she represents all auspiciousness. I want auspiciousness in my life. Go to Srimati Radharani, focus on that Padma. I want to get attracted to the nectar that every devotee is there to give. I want to focus on the Padma. And I want to give this to others. Or be an instrument to give this to others. In whichever way I preach. I should focus on the Padma, on the lotus flower at the lotus feet of Srimadhi Radharani. So let's all say, please give me shelter at the lotus at your lotus feet, which is going to give me all auspiciousness and strength to find that nectar and give it to others. Please give shelter. Please give me shelter at the lotus and your lotus feet, which gives me all auspiciousness and nectar uh, and yeah. nectar to find it devotees and give it to others. Yes, Haribol. Thank you, Vanilla Matu. So beautifully you're repeating. I'm hearing you whenever you're repeating. Thank you. Actually, you know, we all should repeat this. Again and again and again. Whatever that we are discussing here. Because that is that these are these are all the things they actually need. Right? Number 13, umbrella. Chatra. Right? What does it represent? Shade and cold in the burning fire of material existence. Sansara Gava Nanalida Loka Pranaya Karunya Ghanaganatvam Ghanaganatvam Dhavanala Loka burning metal existence. And who brings that Ghana Ghanatvam? Guru. Right? This umbrella, this Chhatra represents that Guru. That shelter that is coming in the form of umbrella from Srimati Radharani who, who will give us that cold, who will give us that shelter, that shade in our spiritual life. We are all burning, Prabhupada and Mataji. So many of us are burning. Acharyas can see us burning in this material world. Nobody is happy, Prabhupada and Mataji. Nobody is happy. Right? Nobody can be happy here. And our mother can see that. That we are burning. And that is the reason, that is the reason she is giving this umbrella. So let us say, Srimadhi Radharani, please give me the shade of this umbrella which will keep me cold, which will keep me safe in this journey in spiritual life. 
Shrimati Radharani, please give me this umbrella which will be shared and the hope uh, to keep me in this material. We, we want that. We want that. Don't deny that you are okay. Don't think you are independent and you are not dependent. We better be dependent and take shelter of this umbrella. Let's go to the 14th one. 14th one represents the gold, the ankushan. Right? The gold, the ankushan. Now, what does it represent? It says, helps us to control the elephant-like mind looking for enjoyment. Right? This gold, this particular symbol of gold, is normally used by the people who tame the elephants. Who tame the elephant, to control the elephants. Right? And these people... You know, how do they control? By, by taking that goad and showing it to the elephant and making it run in different directions and control it. Our mind is just like that elephant. And the elephant, how is the elephant trapped? When it is attracted to the opposite sex. Bodily enjoyment. Looking for enjoyment. Our mind is looking for enjoyment. And this particular goad is going to tame us. Is going to tame our mind. Control our mind. So if your mind is not in your control, then we should all focus on this gourd, the 14th item on the left foot of Srimati Radharani. So let's let's meditate and ask Radharani, Srimati Radharani, please let me focus on this gourd on your lotus feet, which will help me control my mind. Srimati Radharani, please Shri help Radharani. me focus on the gourd on the lotus feet, which will help me control my mind. My mind. My mind. It's so troubling me. It's so troubling me. Right? Please help me control that. Right? Number 15. Vaja. Flag. This particular flag. Now, when do you when do you put a flag? Huh? Everybody? When do you put a flag? When you're victorious. Isn't it? When you're success. When you're success. Yes, that is my flag. Protection to everyone in all respects. Whoever want to make progress in devotion is that flag. The moment you see that flag... That means you are protected. The moment you see that, that Sudarshan on the on the on the you know on the top of the Jagannath temple, you 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 are protected. The moment you see that flag on Srimati Radharani's lotus feet, you are protected. You are in trouble. You are any kind of trouble in bhakti. Just remember that lotus that, that flag on the on the left foot of Srimati Radharani, and you are protected. She's telling, let's focus on that. Acharya is telling, focus on that flag. Whenever you're in trouble, Krishna, please, Srimati Radharani, please help me. I'm going, I'm going to do an offense now. I'm almost on the verge of doing an offense now. What is the biggest danger, Prozhan Mataji? Vaishnava. 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 Aparada. Prozhan Mataji, danger is not the greatest. Death is not the greatest danger. Greatest danger is not losing your job. Greatest danger is not losing your wife or your children. Greatest danger is not losing your body. Greatest danger is not joining in Baswataratam hospital with cancer in fourth stage. That is also not the greatest danger. Because you'll get one more body. You'll lose this, you'll get one more. Greatest danger is when you Make a Vaishnava suffer. Greatest danger when you become an impediment in a Vaishnava's spiritual progress. Greatest danger is when you make a Vaishnava feel bad. Don't do that. That is the greatest danger. And this flag protects you from, from performing that greatest act of danger. So is the flag important for you, Mathis? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's very important. Right? So let us all say, Srimati Radharani, please, I want to focus on the flag on your left feet who is going to help me not commit an offense which will put me in the greatest danger. Srimati Radharani, please uh, help Radharani, focus on the flag on your left foot, which will help me uh, not commit any Vaishnava prayer and protect me from the greatest danger. More offense Yeah, let's go to the 16th. Thank you. Let's go to the 16th flower, Pushpa. Right? Beautiful flower here. Right 
in the left feet on the on the leftmost corner right in middle what does it represent just like flower spreads fragrance devotee's glory that spread to the whole world by her right now here is kesar shrimati radharani is giving is in the giving mode right so just like flower you know you keep a flower it spreads fragrance same way our devotees krishna's devotees wherever they are their glory is spread by whom by shrimati radharani because she is so happy she is so happy right she is so happy king and what should be my prayer use me as an instrument to spread that fragrance at your lotus feet right shrimati radharani please let me focus on that flower which spreads the fragrance to the whole world use me like an instrument to spread that fragrance to everybody in this world okay use me like in your own words use me like an instrument to spread the fragrance of bhakti use me as an instrument to spread the fragrance of bhakti ोशन grows into a plant and it will produce flowers and fruits when we focus on this bali right we have a small seed of bhakti lata beej right acharya has explained our, our seed of devotion is very small very vulnerable easily it can get destroyed if we focus on that if we focus on that bali at the at the bottom most portion of shrimati radharani's left foot our seed will sprout it will become into a bhakti lata vriksha and there will be fruits and flowers coming out which we can give to others right we want our bhakti lata beach to be protected so that we can grow in devotion and we can also spread give that to others in the form of fruits and flowers so shrimati radharani please 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 let me focus on that valli so that my bhakti lata beej is protected that you have given and it will produce something useful for this world please radha rani shrimati radha rani please help me focus on the valley on your left foot so that it protect my bhakti lata bhakti lata beej which will be protected and give fruits to the whole world yes spread the thank you thank you very much yeah now let us go to number 18 half moon <laughs> right ardhendu ardhendu it's called half moon now this half moon provides pleasure in bhakti by giving us protection and cool shade gives relief of pain represents mind and fixes us in bhakti now moon gives life moon gives nourishment moon gives protection the moon also gives us cool shade right all these things moon gives it gives a shade it gives life juice it gives us nourishment it also helps us get fixed up in bhakti cool cooling cooling moon, half moon that is there below in the lotus feet of shrimati radharani if we focus on that she will give us the shade the shelter that we need to make progress in bhakti so shrimati radharani please give me that shade at your lotus feet through that moon half moon which will help me progress in bhakti and give me that cold shade that i need to make progress in your own words you can say that you know just give me that shade just give me that give me that shrimati radharani please let me focus on the half moon at your left foot which will give me shade and protection at your lotus feet to take this shadow and shelter of your feet and these are your sincere prayers ha huh? radharani is hearing all these prayers trust me she is hearing so whatever you prayed maybe the words are different but she has heard the prayer now let us go to the last one the 19th item are you all ready hari bol hari bol hari bol angle 
the valayan it's called the valayan or the bangle right here it is here it is right can you all see what does it represent our binding with lord krishna that i only belong to him is that bangle right represents kanthi and tilak that bangle represents our kanthi that we are wearing and our tilak declaring that i only belong to lord sri krishna bangle represents the change that comes in one life one after the other coming into bhakti path if one is not able to change then one should focus on the bangle on lotus rather than his lotus feet are krishna how great is that bangle huh? how great is that bangle two things it is giving what is the first thing it is doing it is binding us like the bangle is on your wrist is completely binding it same way if we focus on the bangle we will not go anywhere else except to lord krishna we will wear our kanthi and follow the four regulated principles we'll always wear this tilak and tell that my ego belongs at your lotus feet you know my ego is smashed at your lotus feet i belong to you right and the bangle also represents the changes that i am stopping to happen the changes that are needed in my life to progress in bhakti and the changes that i am stopping i am not allowing the change to happen that bangle represents a prayer that will help us change those things that we are not able to change so that we can become fixed with krishna bangle actually represents our fixedness with krishna ekah kurunandan right single pointed focus in krishna bhakti if you are not having single pointed focus prabhu in mataji if we are not having single pointed focus at krishna's lotus feet that is the bangle that is going to save us it will bring us a single pointed focus and to come to that single pointed focus we need to get we need to be ready to change and to change we need the blessing and that blessing comes from the bangle is the bangle important for us in mathu this very much yes right if somebody else is not able to change in the satsang you can pray to that bangle and ask timothy radharani please save me please save him also her also please give that please give that single pointed focus at the lotus feet of your beloved shri krishna so that we can make progress in bhakti so shrimati radharani please give me shelter at that bangle which me which will make me fixed in krishna bhakti and which will make me change myself to make progress in krishna bhakti shrimati radharani please let me focus on the bangle on your lotus feet and i will be able to change myself and fix myself in the krishna bhakti of your feet and progress in the krishna bhakti so provision matajis please once again focus at these lotus feet is there any other lotus feet which is more merciful than, than these lotus feet provision matajis after hearing all this no huh? is there anything else in this world that can be more important than serving these lotus feet just look at them every part of it is filled with mercy the fish the chariot the earrings the conch the mountain the altar the arrow the mace the barley corn the upward line the disc the lotus the umbrella the gourd the flag the flower the flowery pot the half moon the bangle everything is only telling us one thing. only one thing they are telling come back come back enough enough of nonsense we are doing in this material world don't try to accumulate anything here somebody we are waiting for you shrimati radharani and shri krishna are waiting for us we are the ones who are not going we are the ones who are not going
some questions people ask you know i worship rather than his lotus feet why do we need to focus on details we discussed about it right details means bhakti i'm going to ask one more question to you when we go to we often discuss this right when we go to finance minister if you are meeting finance minister you should not ask file my income tax return you can ask something more so when we are going to shrimati radharani why are we asking relief from material misery and all that that is it we should not ask that right? we should only ask bhakti why are we asking cool shade of the moon why are we asking some relief why are we asking all these things is it not wrong to ask radharani uh all these material reliefs what do you think why are acharya is also telling about material reliefs in this blessings because we are too much conditioned yes and so that we can practice our bhakti yes so that when we get relieved from this we can we can practice our bhakti nicely isn't it now one acharya beautifully explained you know one one senior devotee prabhu ji he beautifully explained he said that a 2000 rupee note also includes 10 rupees 100 rupees 500 rupees <laughs> isn't it is it not a 2000 rupee note also includes 10 rupees 20 50 100 200 500 all these notes are there inside that correct so same way in the same way when we pray to shrimati radharani for spiritual relief spiritual progress she'll also as a by product remove our material problems it's inclusive because a mother cares na mother cares shrimati radharani cares even though we don't ask we don't have to go and ask her specifically that i'm going through something in life my job is tough my schedule is tough my health is tough she'll anyway take care it will come with it and by the way ah uh, anukulyena bhakta anukulyena to the bhakti you can ask anything tivrena bhakti yogena try to become more tivra try to become more 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 focused anya vilashita shunyam gyana karmaadi avyam tivrena bhakti yogena anukulyena krishna tivrena bhakti ha right it is very clearly told that yes ask for higher spiritual but even if you ask for material that's okay ask from me ask from radharani because she will relieve you from all that right she will relieve you from all that so fundamental final you know there can be more questions you know same thing that i asked why am i asking why am i asking this why am i asking that so my question to all of you do you have do you have any more questions or doubts on shrimati radharani's mercy no okay anybody in the call whether you are new to bhakti or old to bhakti kisi ko koi doubt hai kya radharani ke mercy pe yes or no no doctor ji no right no, no. then then pledge that now that you will chant 16 rounds of parikrishna mantra every day for the rest of your life राइट I will not. I should never stop. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Right? Ah. Okay. The Prabhupada explained what does this prayer ah. this this prayer represent? This Hare Krishna mantra prayer represents. Oh, Shri Mati Radha Rani, my oh. beloved mother, give me service at the lotus feet of my father, Shri Krishna. That is what this prayer represents, right? And we all want to. Take shelter of this prayer, and we want to take shelter of Sri Mati Radharani's lotus feet, which will keep us fixed in bhakti. Right. So, I'll stop here. I'm sorry, I was supposed to finish by eight thirty, but it went a little longer. Any Hare any Krishna, questions? Prabhu. Any questions? Hare Krishna. Yes, ma'am. Prabhu, you said how to uh, how will we get the vision to see 
Uh, Lord Krishna sent Radha and his lotus feet in Vrindavan. He said, "Yes, that. thank you, thank you. You asked that question. Yes, yes. I requested. I requested everybody. Yes, Vanilla Mataji ki jai, Hari Bol. She she remembered that question. Yes. Now question is, how we will how we will get the vision to see this lotus feet in Vrindavan." By serving our Guru. Yes. By serving our Guru, by doing what? What is our Guru doing? He is serving his Guru. Hmm? Chanting. And connecting uh, to God and giving this opportunity. Let, let, us, let us read the Pranam Mantra. Let us read the Pranam Mantra. Every, uh, let, let me ask, let me ask one, one by one person. Uh, um, I don't know. Praveen Prabhu, can you read the first pranam mantra of Srila Prabhupada? Namo Mishnapadaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Chinamani Namaste Saraswati Devi no, no, Gaur. First only, first only, first only. Okay. Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Chinamani. Right? Yes. Ah. Satya Prabhu, are you there? Okay, anybody else? Can you read the second pranam mantra? Sri Gopal Prabhu, can you read the second pranam mantra? Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyava Di Paschatya Deshatarine. Yes, right? Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale. Establishing and glorifying Lord Krishna around the world is the pranam mantra of my Guru. Is that true? And how do you spread the glories of Lord Sri Krishna around the world? By preaching. By preaching and distributing. By distributing Srimad Bhagavatam. Haribo. Simple. Srimad Bhagavatam has everything everything that radharani wants to give to the whole world right srimad bhagavatam is everything that radharani wants to give to the whole world provision mataji if you want to see the lotus feet of srimati radharani you have to distribute srimad bhagavatam you have to keep bhagavatam at every single place on the planet have you seen have you seen a deity of Krishna being sold to a temple? Okay. Have you seen have you seen somebody selling Krishna deity to a temple? It is given. Yes. It's not sold. Right? Yes. Sir. Have you seen Krishna being given? To a beggar by taking money? No, no, no. So, Prabhupada and Mataji, there are Srila Prabhupada literature should never be given for free. That is also true. But giving it to temples and needy people for free, that is also true. Our answer is a problem. So, please understand this that we want to give it for free to the needy devotees who can't afford it and to the temples where we want to establish Krishna. Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale. Bhutale means where? In all the temples. Everywhere. Flood it. Right? I don't have an agenda here. But I have an agenda. <laughs> that we all should see Radharani's lotus feet. That is our agenda. And Radharani's lotus feet is visible only to those people who have no inhibitions and no doubts in spreading the glories of Lord Krishna in the form of book distribution, in the form of preaching, in the form of chanting the holy names. Right? Vaishnava Seva, Namaruchi, and Jeevadaya. 
we are doing jeevadaya by making people not take birth again that is our jeevadaya and we are doing vaishnava seva by doing what vaishnavas like us to do by giving literature to others and we are getting nama ruchi by begging at the lotus feet of shrimati radharani please give me some taste in devotion right so thank you very much for your audience and i'm very grateful that you all have joined in advance um, can i can i ask everyone to this on your cameras at least for one minute i don't know what is there <laughs> I didn't even see who is there. Yeah, I'm very grateful that uh, you know uh, today morning we are spending together. One day before Radhashtami, now we know how important is Radhashtami, right? Tomorrow is Radhashtami. That lotus feet is available for all of us, right? That lotus feet that we have just seen is available for all of us. Let us grab it. Pagallo, right? Pagallo by serving her. So tomorrow, the festival is in uh, is being celebrated from three o'clock onwards, because um, there is Jagannath also coming. Jagannath is Krishna. So when Radharani is coming, Jagannath is running, right? So Jagannath also is coming. Uh, Shri Gopal Prabhu and Poonam Mataji, Jagannath, big Jagannath, they are also coming to be welcomed, and have and I have asked and I have requested uh, um, Krishna Kant Prabhu, who is a very senior disciple of His Holiness Jayapataka Swami Maharaj. Who installed deities in our home? You know, Sri Radha Gopi Vallabh. They have requested him. He's very busy. His schedule is very busy on Radha Ashtami. Yet he agreed that he'll come and do the installation of uh, do the Abhishekam, help us do the Abhishekam of Sri Radha Gopi Vallabh, and also install Sri Jagannath Balaji Subhadra Mai in that part of Madhapur, where Sri Gopal Prabhu and Purnamathi lives. Right. So he he has a hard stop that he has to go by four thirty five. Because he has to do something else somewhere, so he is hundred percent going to start the Abhishekam at three o'clock, and three to four, three to three thirty is Abhishekam, and whatever bhoga that you all want to cook on Radhashtami, right, to attract the mercy of Radharani, and for Jagannath Balaji Swadra who are being welcomed, please cook and bring them by three o'clock, so that they can be kept, and three thirty we'll do the bhoga offering, four o'clock is the aarti. Right and 4:30 Prabhuji will be, and then we will continue this discussion on the glories of Shrimati Radharani. If you all permit, tomorrow also. So please keep it, don't be delayed. Keep everything else aside, and please come. So some of you are doing sessions in the morning as well. Let us also wish all the best, Prabhuji and Mataji. Let us also wish all the best to Mahesh Prabhuji and Prashanti Mataji. Who are going to start Shrimad Bhagavad Gita from first word in my home Vihanga? Let us chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Hare. So many, so many more souls will get the mercy of Shrimati Radharani, isn't it? Yes. And please pray for me also. For the first time, I am going to take the Krishi my home Krishi small group. Two Vaishnav Sevakuns and give them darshan of the cows, and also take the most important topic: Who is God? <laughs> Hari, 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 Yes, Madhavi. From from uh, first Loka Shubhar or Prabhu is starting Loka. Last week we started Madhavi. Last week we started. Yeah. So, but still, let us also. Uh, you know, uh, wish all the best to Subaro Prabhu, who is going to inspire many to take Shrimad Bhagavatam tomorrow uh, on the holy occasion of Radhashtami. So by chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Let's also wish all the best to Santosh Haitya Prabhu, who has taken the endeavor of Making everyone read Shrimad Bhagavatam in a circle. Right? He has already started by chanting Hare Krishna Mantra. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Krishna
Thank you, thank you. So please go ahead with your duties today. So let's all meet tomorrow. Hare Krishna. We need some help to take the DTs. We need some help to take the DTs and things from here to Praveen Prabhu's house. So please volunteer. Talk to my wife, Anuradha. I will I will be busy in VSK tomorrow. So I will come directly to the venue. So please talk to my wife in case she needs any help in taking the DTs and some paraphernalia. Rabhishekam. Please be available. Don't be guests on Radharani's appearance day. Be the servants on Radharani's appearance day. Please stay. Please come early. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank